Hi, and welcome to this quick Covert Action Bar demo video. Now let's take a look at how Covert Action Bar works and how it uses this deep-rooted psychology to almost force people to click your ads. Here we are in the WordPress admin area, and you can see the Covert Action Bar is in our sidebar menu on the left. And straight away, you'll notice you can have up to five different action bars. Now, this was previously a feature only available in the upgraded Pro version. But for this version 2 launch offer, we're giving you all of the Pro functionality included in this version. You'll also notice that up here on the right-hand side, there's a link to the tutorial videos. So if you do need any help, it's right there to hand. But please remember, this is a regular WordPress plugin, so it takes just moments to install, and most of the settings are fairly self-explanatory and easy to use. Now, at the moment, we're in action bar number one, and you can see that this is already set up and active, i.e. running live on the site. Now, if I wanted to make any changes to the settings for this bar, I'd need to set it as inactive first, using this button. However, I want to run through how quick and easy it is to set up a new action bar on your site. So let's go across to action bar number two. Now this action bar hasn't been set as active yet. And we use this set active button when we're ready to do so to make it live on our site. Now, first of all, at the top, you'll notice we have a full HTML text editor with both visual and text options. So you can format the text to look and feel just the way you want it to get it to jump out at your visitors. Now you'll also notice that I have two messages added. This is another pro feature that you have access to, and you can add to five different messages. This lets you test separate messages by adding one on each line, and the plugin will rotate between each of them, basically split testing the messages for you to find the best converting message. We'll have a look at that in the reporting in a minute. Split testing to maximize your results shouldn't be complicated to do. With this plugin, it's actually super simple. Then you choose the background color and default text color from a full color palette. Next, you simply pop in the destination URL to take the visitor to when the bar is clicked. You also get to choose whether this opens in a new browser window or the existing one. There's also an option to show an open button on the bar, which I'll come back to in a minute when we look at the live bar, and whether that should go to the same page as above or a different link. Then there's a similar option for showing a close or little cross button on the bar, and whether that should also be sent to the specified URL if they hit it. And you can define how long before the action bar will be shown to that visitor again if they do hit the close button. There's also the option for displaying a warning icon on the bar, which we'll have a look at again in a moment on the live bar. You can also specify whether the action bar appears as soon as someone lands on the page or whether there's a delay and how many seconds that should be, and whether the action bar will appear on tablet devices and mobile devices. Then you have control over exactly where your action bars appear. And this is another pro upgrade option included for you during this launch offer. Now, instead of having the same action bar and message appear on every page of your site, you can target individual or groups of categories and or pages on your site, giving you a massive amount of flexibility. Now, this is extremely effective if you have separate action bars targeting different sub niches or topics within your market. For example, here, the affiliate marketing, list building, and traffic generation categories could all have different action bars with different messages that are related specifically to that category or topic, and then send the visitors to offers that are more targeted to that category niche or individual post topic. Basically, you end up with higher conversions because the link and the offer is more congruent to the actual content that the visitor is on. But for this one, I'm just gonna have it appear on the front page, and I'll show you why in a moment when we look at a live example. Then you have a couple of options to control how long before the action bar will be displayed again to the same visitor, whether they clicked it or not. And there's even an option to have a sound when the action bar appears to make sure it really gets your visitor's attention. 
Now that is the, the default ping that your browser makes. Now what I'm going to do is click on update settings and you can see our settings have been updated and I'm simply going to click on set active to make this bar live on our site. Okay, so I'm now simply going to pop across to a new browser. This is one where I'm not logged in as a WordPress user. And you can see I'm on one of the pages on my blog on the About Us page. And if you remember, we set those two new action bars to appear on the home page. So I'm going to click on the icon and go to the home page. And there we go. There's our action bar popping up with the little notification noise that you'd expect to hear when the normal browser action blocker comes up and when the visitor then clicks on the bar it'll either open up a new window or take us to the link in the same window depending on how you've got it set up within the plugin itself and now we're back on the home page if I hit refresh again instead of that first bar coming up wait a few seconds we have the second variation of the bar with the red text at the start and as I mentioned, this is the pro version that you're getting. So you can have up to five different variations of messages set up and the system will simply rotate through them one by one. So you can get the split testing results that you need to find the best message for getting results. Okay, you'll also notice we do have that attention icon here at the start of the bar. That was one of the settings in the action bar itself. And we've got the open button, which again will take us to your chosen URL for the visitor and the close button as well, which can close down the browser bar if you want, depending on how you've got the settings set up. Okay, there's one more thing I want to show you with the action bar working live on the site. Uh, if we go back to the About Us page, this doesn't have an action bar set up on it. That uh, action bar that we're just looking at was set up just for the home page. Okay, but we do have action bar one, which is set up to come up on the products page and other pages. So there we go, that's a different action bar again with a different look and feel. So you can have as many of these different action bars as you want, different feel, different look. They can appear on different pages, different categories, different uh, posts, individual posts on your blog as well. Okay, so here we are back in the cover action bar settings itself. Uh, and there's one more thing I want to show you in here, which is the reports. And once we bring up the reports, if I scroll down a bit, you can see the different stats for the different action bars that we have active. And this is where you can not only see how effective each individual action bar is, but you can also see the results of your split testing for the different variations on the same action bar. So if one's outperforming the others, you can then keep that and replace the others to continue split testing and constantly be improving your conversions and click-through rate. And again, as I mentioned earlier, split testing to improve your conversions shouldn't be complicated or difficult. Covert Action Bar makes it really easy to do it. Okay, one last thing, which is the standalone script option. And this is another one of those pro user uh, extra functionalities that we've added in for you. And it's actually a really, really powerful functionality or feature for you. Uh, what I'm going to do is choose which action bar I want to do this for. So let's say action bar two. And I'm going to create a standalone script. Basically, we can take these bits of code here and it explains exactly where you need to put them on each page and add them or add these action bar scripts to any site, not just a WordPress blog, any HTML web page or site. You can add these bits of codes. And as I said, it does tell you exactly where to put them in the HTML code. And you can have those action bars appearing on any site. Doesn't need to be WordPress. So giving you even more functionality from the plugin on non WordPress sites. So that was a super quick demo of Covert Action Bar. And by now you can see just how easy it is to create your own action bars and get your visitors taking action on your offers, no matter what your niche is. And remember, this is the quickest way to tap into a deep rooted psychology to almost force people to click your ads. In fact, we found that Covert Action Bar gets more clicks and generates more sales than anything we have ever used on our blogs. And for a limited time only, you can get your hands on Covert Action Bar, including the pro and mobile upgrades at the special low early bird price. Now we will be selling this for at least $67 after this limited offer ends. You also get detailed over the shoulder video tutorials 
to make sure you get the absolute most out of your new plugin. And we include free ongoing updates so you'll never be left behind. And just for this launch offer, we're including multi-site and site flipping licenses so you can install the plugin on as many of your sites as you want, as well as flip your site for quick profits. But you need to act now. The price will be going up again very soon and the multi-site and site flipping license will be removed. So please scroll down now and grab your copy today and we'll see you on the inside. Thanks for watching.